Hello my dear family members as i got to know many of you have exams on 27th and 29th september keeping that in my mind i brought a most asked coding question which was asked on 26th september on campus drive as well so those who have physical assessment on those days please subscribe to get such latest content okay let's see what is the question so the question is regarding anagram checker you are given two strings str1 and str2 write a function to check if str1 and str2 are anagrams of each other anagrams are words of phrases formed by rearranging the letters of another word of phrases right so typically using all the original letters exactly once right so your function should return yes if str1 and str2 are anagrams and no otherwise right so here is the input format that is two strings str1 and str2 where uh, where the length of each string is at most this this is the constant follow this and output is this return yes if str1 and str2 are anagrams and no otherwise right so let's check the sample input then this will be more clear right so let's check the first string that is anagram and the second string is this right so you have to actually count all the characters in the first string and the count in the second string if this is fully same and the length is also same then we should return yes right and in the second input as well we have to go with the similar logic so here let's look at carefully so a a is total 3a i mean uh, number of count, uh, count of a is 3 right so 3a and n is only 1 so here n is only 1 m is only 1 and here m is also 1 g1 g1 right so all the characters are same in number in the both string right so we should return yes so in the second input here look at carefully the n is present twice and here n is present only once so that's that means all the characters are not uh, same in count i mean in number right so we should return no i hope you got the logic right so if you got the logic then start solving the question by yourself if not possible then come to watch right otherwise it will not be helpful for your exam time right assume that this is your exam time so that it could be more better right so before i proceed to the solution i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question where i uploaded all the coding questions asked in this year right i think total 38 to 39 questions were asked in this on campus drive so i have uploaded all the questions right so please go through that link will be given in the description box right so the approach should be like this sort both strings then compare the sorted strings if they are equal then return yes if they are not equal then return false i mean no right so this way we can observe i mean we, we can uh, obtain the answer right so let's at first define the function so def anagram let's say the first uh, in uh, first string and second string are a comma b at first make them sorted right so sorted a is equal to sorted a right and sorted b is equal to sorted b right sorry okay now compare the sorted strings right so if they are equal or not so if sorted a is equal to is equal to sorted b then we should return yes return at first let's say return true then we will uh, do the other operation in the main function right return yes else return false i mean uh, yes return false sorry return false right okay i hope you got it right let's run the main function then this will be more clear if main is equal to is equal to sorry name is equal to, is equal to name is equal to is equal to main then A, let's say a is equal to in, input and b is equal to input right and now just check if anagram 
anagram A. That means true. Then we will return or print yes, right? And else, sorry, anagram A comma B, right? Actually, else return, sorry, print no, right? Okay, I hope uh, this will give proper output. Let's check it if this is right or not. So, anagram, right? Anagram, this is the first and the second was G A R M N A A. So, this should return yes. So, as expected. And for the second input, let's say anagram and G R A m a n n right this should return no so i hope you got the logic and the code syntaxes right so if you want the code in c plus plus or java i hope you got the logic right so you can convert the python code into your desired coding language right so if you want more such coding questions of accenture latest on campus then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus right so thank you for today's session